Good morning. There's something magical about waking up to a world blanketed in white, the air crisp and the city transformed overnight. Whether you live in a bustling metropolis or a quiet rural town, the arrival of winter always brings a sense of anticipation and wonder. I'm Al Roker and today we're diving into the question everyone asks as autumn arrives. What's this winter going to be like? It's a question that sparks conversations at breakfast tables and offices and even among strangers waiting in line for coffee. The winter forecast isn't just a segment on the news, it's a shared curiosity that connects us all. Winter forecasts aren't just small talk, they help us plan everything from snow tires to heating bills and even what kind of coat to buy. Knowing what's ahead lets us prepare our homes, our cars, and our wardrobes so we're not caught off guard when the first big storm hits. And let's not forget holiday travel. Whether you're flying across the country to see loved ones or just driving to the next town, a reliable forecast can mean the difference between a smooth trip and a stressful ordeal. It helps us decide when to book tickets, when to hit the road, and when to stay put. Whether you're hoping for snow days or dreading icy commutes, the winter forecast shapes our daily routines. Kids dream of building snowmen, while adults brace for early mornings spent shoveling driveways or scraping windshields. These predictions shape our lives and our communities. They bring neighbors together to help each other out, and they help cities prepare to keep everyone safe and warm. From stocking up on supplies to checking in on elderly neighbors, the forecast is at the heart of our winter readiness. The anticipation is part of the fun. Will it be a winter wonderland or a mild season? Some of us hope for record-breaking snowfalls while others cross their fingers for a gentle winter. Either way, the guessing game brings excitement and a sense of community as we all wait to see what Mother Nature has in store. Our goal is simple, to give you the clearest, most reliable outlook so you can prepare with confidence. We analyze the latest data, consult with experts, and break down complex patterns so you know exactly what to expect and how to get ready. So, as we stand on the edge of autumn watching the last leaves fall and feeling the first chill in the air, let's take our first detailed look at the winter of 2025 to 2026. It's time to get ready for whatever this season may bring. Grab your coffee, settle in and join us as we break down what's ahead for the US and Europe. From snowstorms to sunny spells, we've got you covered, so you can face winter with confidence and maybe even a little excitement. As we look ahead to the winter of 2025 to 26, two continents prepare for very different stories, one unfolding across the United States and another across Europe. This season promises to be anything but ordinary, with weather patterns setting the stage for a dramatic contrast between regions. In the United States, a sharp divide is expected to shape the winter experience. The northern states from the Midwest to the Northeast are bracing for a colder, snowier season than usual. Cities like Chicago, Minneapolis, and New York could see frequent snowstorms, icy winds, and extended periods of below average temperatures. Residents should prepare for challenging commutes, school closures, and the kind of winter that tests even the hardiest. Meanwhile, the southern half of the country may be left wondering if winter will show up at all. Places like Atlanta, Dallas, and Miami are likely to experience milder temperatures, with many days feeling more like early spring than the depths of winter. Snow will be rare, and outdoor activities may continue uninterrupted, making it a season of contrasts within the same nation. Across the Atlantic, Europe's forecast is just as varied, but with its own unique twists. The southern and western regions, think Spain, Portugal and France, are likely to see milder, wetter conditions. Rainy days will be common and umbrellas will be a daily accessory, as Atlantic storms bring persistent showers and overcast skies. In contrast, northern and eastern Europe, including Scandinavia, Poland and Russia, should prepare for intense cold snaps and heavy snowfall. These areas could face blizzards, icy roads, and prolonged periods of deep freeze, making travel and daily life more challenging. The driving force behind these patterns is the jet stream, a powerful river of air high above the Earth. This winter, its position and strength will determine whether Arctic air plunges southward or milder Atlantic breezes dominate. The jet stream's unpredictable shifts will be the key player, steering storms and shaping the season's mood. The main theme for both continents, variability. Expect wild swings between cold snaps, heavy snow and sudden thaws. One week may bring a deep freeze, the next a burst of warmth and melting snow, keeping everyone on their toes. For the US, the defining split will be north versus south, frigid snowy conditions up top, and mild almost spring-like weather down below. For Europe, it's east and north facing the brunt of winter, 
while the West and South enjoy milder, wetter days. The contrast will be striking, with some regions bundled up against snow, while others dodge rain showers. Understanding these broad patterns is the first step in preparing for what's ahead. Meteorologists are closely watching the signals, analyzing data, and updating forecasts as new information comes in. Next, we'll dig deeper into the details, breaking down expected temperatures, snowfall amounts, and the climate drivers behind these shifts. We'll explore how global patterns like El Nino and the North Atlantic Oscillation could tip the scales, and what that means for your daily life. This is your headline for the season ahead, a winter of contrasts, surprises, and rapid changes. Whether you're in the snow belt or the rain zone, it's time to get ready. Let's get into the specifics and see what this remarkable winter has in store for you. Let's talk temperatures. In the US, the North, think Northern Plains, Great Lakes, Northeast, should brace for a colder than average winter with more days below freezing and above average snowfall. The Southern US will be milder with less snow and more rain. Snow lovers in the north get ready, commuters keep those shovels handy. In Europe, western and southern regions, UK, France, Spain, Italy, will be milder and wetter, thanks to Atlantic winds. Scandinavia and Eastern Europe, however, could see significant cold snaps and heavy snow, especially later in winter. Rain will dominate the west, while the east and north get the snow. The Alps and Scandinavia could see a bumper snow season. It's a classic east-west and north-south divide on both continents, let's see what's driving these patterns. Why is this happening? Why are we seeing such dramatic swings in winter weather, from blizzards to mild spells, sometimes within the same week? The answer lies in the powerful forces that drive our planet's climate. It's all about the big climate drivers, global patterns that shape the weather we experience every day. These drivers act like the gears in a giant machine, setting the stage for everything from gentle flurries to record-breaking storms. Right now, we're heading into a weak to moderate La Nina phase. This is a natural climate pattern that originates in the Pacific Ocean, where cooler than average sea surface temperatures influence weather across the globe. For the northern United States, La Nina typically means colder, stormier conditions. Expect more frequent snowstorms, icy winds, and the kind of winter weather that can bring cities to a standstill. Meanwhile, the southern U.S. often experiences milder, drier weather. Fewer snow days, more sunshine, and a winter that feels more like an extended autumn in places like Texas in the southeast. In Europe, another major player comes into focus, the North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO. This atmospheric pattern can flip the script on winter, acting as a wild card. When the NAO turns negative, it opens the door for Arctic air to surge southward, bringing sudden cold snaps, icy winds, and the potential for heavy snowfall across the continent. But there's another layer to this story, climate change. As our planet warms, winters overall are trending milder. However, that doesn't mean we're safe from extremes. In fact, the atmosphere's extra warmth means it can hold more moisture, fueling bigger snowstorms and deeper freezes when the conditions align. So, when the setup is right, when cold air meets abundant moisture, major snow events and deep freezes become even more likely, even in a warming world. A warmer atmosphere doesn't just mean rain instead of snow, it means that when it does snow, the totals can be impressive. Snow can pile up quickly, blanketing cities and transforming landscapes overnight. We're seeing snowbanks grow higher, cars buried under drifts, and neighborhoods waking up to scenes straight out of a winter postcard. This winter's forecast is a blend of influences, a complex mix of La Nina, the NAO, and the ever-present backdrop of climate change. Meteorologists are watching these patterns closely, analyzing data and updating forecasts as new information comes in. In the U.S., La Nina is the main driver, shaping regional weather from the Pacific Northwest to the Northeast and everywhere in between. In Europe, the NAO and Atlantic weather patterns take center stage, determining whether winter will be mild and wet or cold and snowy from London to Paris and beyond. And through it all, climate change adds a layer of volatility, making weather more unpredictable and extremes more common. It's a complex dance of natural cycles and human influence, and we're watching every step. The result? A season of contrasts, surprises, and potential extremes where no two winters are ever quite the same. So, what does all this mean for you? Let's zoom in and break down what to expect in your region from coast to coast as we navigate another remarkable winter season together. Let's travel across the U.S. Pacific Northwest Classic La Nina. 
cooler, wetter, great for ski resorts. California southern half stays warmer and drier, raising drought concerns. Northern Rockies, cold and snowy. Southern Rockies and Four Corners, milder, drier. Northern and Central Plains bullseye for Arctic outbreaks and active snowstorms. Texas and Gulf Coast, mild with little winter weather. Great Lakes and Northeast Old Fashioned Winter, cold, snowy, and active storm tracks. Mid-Atlantic battleground between rain and snow. Southeast warm and dry, perfect for a winter escape. Now let's cross the Atlantic to Europe, UK and Ireland, milder, wetter, with more rain than snow, flooding is the main concern, Western and Southern Europe, France, Spain, Italy, warmer, wetter, mostly rain in lowlands, Alps get great snow for ski season, Scandinavia, interior and east brace for cold, snowy winter, coastal Norway stays milder, Eastern Europe, Poland, Baltics, Ukraine, higher risk of deep freezes and heavy snow. The clash between mild Atlantic air and cold continental air could trigger major storms. Timing and intensity of cold outbreaks will be key. Expect sharp contrasts, long cold spells broken by brief thaws. The real winter action is in the north and east. Let's talk extremes. In the US the north faces a heightened risk of major winter storms and blizzards. Expect travel disruptions, power outages, and school closures. Arctic outbreaks could bring life-threatening cold, especially in the northern plains and Great Lakes. Infrastructure and public health will be tested. Frostbite and frozen pipes are real risks. In Europe, the West's main threat is flooding from relentless rain and windstorms. Coastal areas face erosion and storm surge. Northern and Eastern Europe could see long, severe cold snaps if Siberian air pushes in. These deep freezes strain energy supplies and disrupt transport. The beast from the east is the wild card for Europe. Preparation is critical for all. Preparation matters more than prediction. For your home service, your heating system, seal drafts and insulate pipes. For your car, check tires and battery and pack a winter emergency kit, blanket, snacks, flashlight, shovel, sand. At home, have a three-day supply of food, water, flashlights, batteries and medications. Plan for warmth during outages, blankets, layers, and safe heating. Never use a gas stove or grill for heat. Stay informed. Sign up for local alerts, follow weather updates, and adjust travel plans as needed. Check on elderly neighbors or anyone needing extra help. Community and preparedness are your best tools. Let's face winter together, safely. As winter approaches, here's what to watch. In the US, La Nina's strength and position will fine-tune the forecast, any shift could change who gets the most snow and cold. In Europe, watch for high pressure blocks over Greenland or Scandinavia. These signal Arctic air surges. Siberian snow cover in autumn is another clue. Rapid buildup can trigger cold outbreaks later. Remember, seasonal forecasts are guides, not guarantees. There will always be surprises. Stay tuned for updates as winter nears. We'll keep you informed and prepared every step of the way. And that's what's happening in your neck of the woods.